Well, hello and welcome. Welcome to a very early morning. I am up in the very southeast of Albuquerque, up near the what they call a Four Hills area, and looking for a new open space called Tejeras Iroyo Open Space. And GPS has done it to me again. But we'll find something. I already found this beautiful park here. We're going to explore this area. I'm going to show you a new feature, a little amusement type thing that they're putting up here that's going to be open soon. But other than that, we're just going to walk around and explore today. Just enjoy the day. Beautiful, sunny Albuquerque. Let's go. Beautiful little park here. Pretty nice area. Now, of course, we're going to be shooting into the sun here, but uh, first thing I wanted to show you is this ball right here. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're going up here. There is a giant hill up here I want to show you. Look at this beautiful area here with some nice little awnings and some tables and chairs. Let's see if I can get over here and get out of the sun and show you what they're constructing over here. Look at this. Does this look like a Mayan uh, pyramid or something? This is going to be See the stairs there? And you see that right in the sun? That like uh, tube coming down? That is going to be a slide. It's going to be a humongous slide. You can see the end right there. There's going to be two. One 80-footer and one 100-footer. So... <laughs> Now it looks like I'm going to have to, says please keep out, but I'm going to have to get over here to get out of the sun. i have to break a few rules as usual. There we go, that's a little better. Can you imagine this? The kids, or I guess even adults, are going to have to walk up the, all these stairs. <laughs> Hop on that slide. I don't think there's going to be any water or anything. Just kind of zippity doo da. Oops. But yeah, just uh, hop on that. Hit those curves with your hips. Going about 90 miles an hour. And you can see it's very slim. It's very narrow. The slide there. <laughs> I mean, if it was into a pool of water... And it was enclosed because I can just see some kids just going, oops, I fell out. I don't know. And there's supposed to be two of them. I. <laughs> well, that's the newest attraction in Albuquerque, sponsored by the city. Yeah, let's take this little pathway, see where it goes. Well, GPS led me up to this area for a, uh, a new open space area. But uh, just led me to a neighborhood back and forth. So what I think I'm going to have to do is just do some walking. Just walking and exploring. 
That's what I do. So we're going to just uh, get the walking shoes on and we're just going to go around the Arroyo here and see if we find any trails or just look around. Let's go. Well, first, let's go ahead and head over to this Arroyo. I can see some bike tracks. Just does not look like a trailhead. It's funny how things just don't go exactly the way you think they're going to go. I was talking about that in a couple of videos ago. Like this, I had it all mapped out. I had two different areas that I was going to check out. And put on that GPS when I got here and it put me all through the Four Hills neighborhood. It brought me here, but then the road went around. There's no real entrance or parking area. But I don't know, maybe that's to make life more exciting. Because if things turned out exactly the way you expected, then it'd be a whole different deal. I don't know. I really, really don't. Well, let's walk on the bridge for a little bit. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Nice little tiles all along the way. Hello, I'm a recovering perfectionist. Hi, guy. Hello. Yeah, uh, I thought I had that conquered, but this last video I did, whoo, that perfectionism hit me on the back of the head with a hammer. And uh, <laughs> it took about four and a half, almost five hours to edit, save, load. And I always, uh, I do clip by clip, then I put everything together. But then after I edit it, part of the beginning, what that does is uh, throws off everything all the way through the end. So you have to go through every little insert, every little thing that you've done, m music or what have you, and you got to push it down to the right place. <laughs> oh, very frustrating. It was a tough one. But I uh, uh, then I adjust it so it uh, adjusts through the whole video. And uh, so, and this is after I'd already uh, edited part of the beginning. And I thought, no, I can't do another 40 minutes of saving to the editing program. So uh, I went ahead and left it. But my perfectionism gets in the way. That OCD is maddening. But uh, that's my story. So I need to work on that. Let's take this little dirt trail through the landscaping. All these nice new townhomes. Then we've got this right next door. Nice. I know, I know you're beckoning me to take a break. I actually found an open opening in the rocks here. This must be it. By the time I find it, I'm all worn out. I will go up here away, see what it looks like. Now, if you know me, you know I love walking through this kind of landscape, this deserty, rabbit bush type of land. I like just looking around and maybe finding some birds or rabbits. It's very peaceful, actually. The cars are far enough away to where you don't hear any traffic. Uh, and it's just pretty peaceful. Very makeshift trail here. But I'm 
hoping to get down to the grove of trees. Looks pretty inviting. Hopefully. It's a little wash right through here. Oh, sand is very slippery and hard to walk on. Whew. Come on, get some traction. Ah, at least we know we're in the actual city of Albuquerque open space. The usual, no camping, no fires, no lewd behavior, no dumping. Ah, we made it to the trees. How nice. Part of the Arroyo, I guess. Oh no, I think the Arroyo is over there at cement. This must be part of, uh, part of an extra runoff. A lot of trees in here. Jeez, it's hard to walk in this sand. <laughs> Well, let's take a little offshoot from this wash. See what's over here. That's somewhat of a trail right there. I'm back in here now. Got some real whoop de doos here. Go back here a little bit further. No dumping, huh? Well, we're in another grove of trees here. Keeps on giving. Ah, this is like the woods back here. No real trail to get back. I'm going to have to push by all this stickery, painful stuff. Wow, pretty cool back here. I mean, it's nice and cool. <laughs> nice and shady. Nice. You always find people living in these places. Some shoes there. Always a bunch of clothes. You know what those are? Those are a bunch of surgical gloves. Yuck. Okay, I gotta find my way out of here without going into too thick a bush here because you don't know what's in it. Anything from snakes to Uh, porcupines. Well, that's blocked off. That's Tumbleweed City. Now, of course, the uh, open space trailhead, right when we came in through those rocks, I think that was straight ahead. But I thought it'd be more interesting to take a little offshoot here and uh, and explore through here. A lot better than just walking through the uh, meadow. Always reminds me of when I was a kid. I'd walk through the fields or up in the mountains and just explore. Just uh, I'm always looking for something. Something interesting, even if it's a weird shaped rock. <laughs> or a new trail or a hole in a tree. One of the best advice I've ever had is uh, don't be childish, but have the eyes of wonder of a child. And of course, what that means is uh, if you've ever seen a child just look at a bug or look at something, they just examine it and they trying to figure out how's this thing work? How interesting is the colors on this thing? But as adults, we don't really think about that stuff, really. We just kind of 
go, ooh, it's a bug, it's a snake, it's a spider. But, uh, I used to be afraid, deathly afraid of spiders and snakes, but now, I mean, I won't go grab one, but <laughs> uh, if you really start studying about them, it's amazing, the colors and the different patterns and the, and the different uh, cultures and the lifestyles and uh, behavior is really quite interesting. I'm back to the big wash and I came down way too far west. I gotta find my way across now. Whew. And of course my water's in my car. A lot of good that does you, right? It's getting warm. You know, every time I go somewhere to hike or what have you, I always see houses or apartments nearby and I go, oh, that must be so nice. If, if you live there, you could just walk across the street and go for a walk. But I'll bet you, I will bet you that most have not even set foot in here. <laughs> That's the way it is. Uh, it's like if you go to New York and you ask someone that lives there, you ever been to the uh, you ever been to the Empire State Building? No, never have. Do you want to go? <laughs> you think just because someone lives somewhere that they're taking advantage of everything in that city, but. People are too busy living their lives, working, and all that fun stuff. Huh? Well, we've come full circle. And uh, we did find the trail and conquered it, pretty much. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend this area for a walking trail, maybe a bicycle. But this is actually west of some really nice trails up closer to the mouth of the canyon. That's when you get into some really pretty trails. And I've got a couple videos on that. Actually have a little stream running through. Uh, depending on the water level It's nice to see some Kids over here playing on that uh, playground That uh, two million dollar playground <laughs> Don't go up to the slide kids But uh, I guess that's it because oh, Tired sweaty Worn out Ooh, ooh, Ugh. But uh, Hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming along. I really appreciate you. Take care of yourself and those around you. Bye for now.